Secession is defined as the action of withdrawing formally from membership of a federation or body, especially a political state. It's a simple concept, but can a state secede from the United States whenever it pleases? Well, despite what some people may seem to believe, the short answer is no. But, just like everything else when it comes to government, there are strings attached to this. Secession is not mentioned anywhere in the Constitution, however the Supreme Court has ruled secession illegal in many different cases. The Constitution does mention specific things that states cannot do in Article 10. These illegal acts include making treaties, taxing imports and exports, coining money, granting titles of nobility, having a standing army during a time of peace, and war. You'd think that states can do anything not listed in this article, including secession. In fact, many politicians recognized this flaw and attempted to pass an amendment. Before this could be done, 11 states in the Southeast seceded and formed the Confederate States of America. Following the Civil War, the Supreme Court ruled on the question of whether or not secession is a right states have in many cases, the most well known of which being Texas v. White in 1869. In this case, the Supreme Court ruled on whether the actions of the government of Texas during the period in which the state seceded from the Union during the Civil War were legal. The Confederacy had illegally sold United States bonds that Texas had owned since 1850. The ruling essentially stated that Texas had been a state since it first joined the Union on December 29, 1845, and its secession was illegitimate, therefore its acts were still illegal. The only secessionist movement to ever be somewhat successful in American history is the Confederate States of America. The CSA consisted of 11 US states, all located in the Southeast. The main reason the Confederacy was created was to defend slavery, which accounted for a huge portion of the southern economy. Some states even believed that slavery should be expanded. The second major reason for secession was the power struggle between states and the federal government. The CSA argued that the Union was not a binding force to its states, but rather states could enter and exit at their leisure. South Carolina was the first state to secede, and was an independent republic for six weeks before becoming a member of the Confederate States. This was in response to Abraham Lincoln being elected president. The state seceded from the Union on December 20th of 1860. There have been many unsuccessful secession movements in the United States throughout history. The latest of these occurred in California after the 2016 election. Other secessionist movements pursuing independence are active in Hawaii, Alaska, Cascadia, the Republic of Lakota, Texas, New England, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Puerto Rico. None of these movements have been taken seriously as of yet, but who knows, one of these just may be successful in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.